obesity is a growing worldwide epidemic. In the UK, one in five adults are clinically obese, whilst in the US, it's one in three. So we've flown Dawn to Louisiana to meet 43 stone Christina to emphasize what could happen if she returns to her binge eating. Oh my God. Hello. Hi, welcome to America. Thank oh you. my God. Well, come in and just sit in and Thank let's have you. us a talk. Dawn and Christina may have morbid obesity in common, but there is a whopping 25 stone weight difference between these two supersizers. Oh, I am so glad you are finally here. I wanted to share with you a lot of my life. By experiencing it today, it, you'll say, oh no, yeah. I do not want to go there. So have you always been big? I've always been on the big side. Yeah. I was able to run, but now yeah. if, if fire started, I'm going to be a roasted pig on a stick mm -hmm. because I can't run. Christina takes over 40 pills a day to control the diabetes, high blood pressure, asthma and depression that have resulted from her morbid obesity. I wake up in the morning hurting, so then I have to take pain medicine. Four different kind of pain medications. Whoa! So is it you ate your joints aching? Oh, I would say slightly. They feel like a, a semi-truck is sitting on top of them. And Christina's excessive weight has meant that she's also developed severe sleep apnea, a condition which means that she stops breathing up to 400 times a night and has to wear an oxygen mask to keep her alive. We're going to slip this on. It gets a little tight, mm. and it has to be tight because you have to have this air in there. When this is blowing into you and trying to keep you alive, there's sometimes that this will escape. You feel that? It's almost as if you get into a wind tunnel. Mm. It's not pleasant. It's quite claustrophobic, in fact. And the mask is so tight, it's very uncomfortable. This is what you get from all that great eating. You want a cheeseburger? No, particularly, no. no. Fries? Suddenly no my fries. appetite's gone. Okay. Oh, mercy. And when you're over a quarter of a ton, even leaving the house can be a struggle. Today is sort of making me look at all the problems that Christina has. She's fat, but it doesn't just stop there. It's everything that I take for granted with my mobility. Do not get this big. And something as simple as a visit to the supermarket can be fraught with difficulty. Welcome to my shopping world. Christina can't walk more than a couple of paces, so an electric wheelchair is a must. That one that's way up there at the top. That one? Nope, this one is over this here. One. But sitting down to shop makes getting your five a day quite a chore. That, that one, yeah. It ain't gonna happen. People just stop and gawk at you. Yeah. You know, they look at you like you're a freak from a circus. Yeah, you know. at home, the next part of Christina's daily routine is treating her diabetic sores, which her husband normally takes care of. Gotta go a little further, a little deeper. Yeah, let's see, under there. Mm -hmm. okay. I felt very sorry for Christina having to put that on her, and it's not a pleasant thing to do for somebody, let alone have somebody do for you. Oh, goodness. Now, see, standing just that very short period of time, Breathless. I'm out of breath. And this lack of mobility means that Christina has to rely heavily on her 13-year-old son, Brent. It's kind of difficult, the everyday things that I have to do for her. I'll help her get dressed, and then we go out to the truck and help her get in the truck and everything. How does it affect you at school? I'll intentionally forget something at the house. Yeah so I can call home and make sure she's all right. I'm not so much as worried she's going to continue to get big. Yeah. I'm worried that I'm not going to have her that long. Dawn's visit is coming to an end, but have Christina's warning sunk in? Being here, I see how hard it is for you, and I can see the future if I don't behave myself and think before I eat. 
and the future is not too far away. Christina's future is looking bleak. Unless she loses weight, her life expectancy will be limited and she will have to rely on her cocktail of drugs to keep her alive. Where you're at, you're back here at this corner where I've already crossed it and you're getting close and I hope that oh, you're, yeah, you're where like you that. can turn around. My existence is gone and I don't want that for you. I don't want that for anyone. Somebody can show you a message, but to actually see it firsthand has really made me think what it would be like to be in Christina's shoes. Anyone can be overweight, but there's a limit then that you get to where you just lose dignity, self-respect. Everything goes, and that is a scary place to be, and it's somewhere I am not going to be. <laughs> But has Dawn stuck to her word? A few months ago, Dawn and Charlene left the feeding clinic with their individual healthy eating plans. Now they're back to see if they've turned their disastrous diets around. Dawn, welcome back. You look Thank you. amazingly well. Thank you. You feel good? Yes, really good. And have you managed to stick to the diet then? Yes, I have. I have not touched bacon. I haven't even had pork chops. And I think before I put it in my mouth now. I am rather anxious about finding out how much weight I've lost because I feel like I've lost weight, but the scales will tell. I think I've probably put on a little bit of weight, but I don't think I've put on like a huge, like dramatic amount of weight. So what sort of foods are you eating now that are different to before? I'd say more like protein and more meat, whereas before I wouldn't really eat that much. Do you feel any different for it? I'm not sleeping during the day as I used to before. Physically, you just feel better, you feel a bit more energetic. I feel a lot more energetic, yeah. Before Dr Christian reveals their results, it's time for the girls to meet again. <laughs> oh, look Hello. at you! Oh, you're fantastic! Do you nice to see each other? <laughs> yes. Dramatic changes? The figures changed a huge amount. Oh, yeah. And Charlene's looking so well. Well, look, I can tell you, it's not great on the weight front, all right? Yeah. You've put on a pound. But what I can tell you with the super skinnies is actually the weight gain tends to come a bit further down the line. As long as you feel better, then I'm happy. All right? So, Dawn, what about you? Well, I'm hoping I've lost a bit of weight. Over half a stone would be good. Well, I can tell you, you've lost 24 pounds. That's nearly two stones. Whoa! Half a stone, eat your heart yes. out. Fantastic! I think it's exciting to think that there's a lot more positive to come. I can already see the changes. It doesn't just stop here, it's just the start. It's given me the incentive realising that, you know, I've lost a lot of weight and I can continue to do that. This is it now, this is me going forward. There's no way I am going back to my old ways. If you are over or underweight and you'd like to appear in the next series of Super Size vs Super Skinny, log on to channel4.com forward slash take part for an application form. Next week we're seeing double as two Super Sizers swap diets with two Super Skinnies. This is so much. Are Super Sizers witness life at 41 stone? Uh, here, maybe I can show you how my tummy sits. And four weeks on, our eating disorders group confront their binge-eating fears. Do half a slice of toast. I throw it up. You throw it, you'd be sick. 